managed to get all four corners strapped down even though this trailer doesn't really have any strap points on it um, it does have the stake pockets but I don't have any d-rings or any other tie down points yet um, I need to get some d-rings and weld them in each corner so that I have some nice tie down points in any event we've got it strapped down I ended up looping a strap underneath the trailer where it's got a nice overhang here where I could hook it um, it's definitely secure got all four corners um, they're a little bit more parallel to the tractor than I wanted I wanted them a little bit more diagonal but this is the best I can do one other thing is these uh, these ramps I ended up notching the ramps as you can see here I've got them notched so that I could bring the ramps in farther so that the Kubota BX will fit it. Otherwise, without notching them, they were a little bit too far apart for the Kubota. So I did notch them, but they're a little bit unstable because I did that, which I kind of figured would happen. It's going to get me through for the time being, but eventually I got to definitely make some hinges so I could just hinge these down and don't have to load these back up into my truck every time I load and unload my tractor. Um, but yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and head over to this job and I'll show you guys what we got going on once we get up there. So far, this is the first time I've actually hauled this trailer with a load on it, uh, especially with my tractor on it. So it's going to be a little bit of trial and error, but I'll get her dialed in. All right guys, so we're over at my parents' house. We're here to do a job for them. Back behind their property here, you can see they've got this fence. Their house is up here. Behind their fence here, we've got a big pile of garbage here. This is just kind of where my father has stacked everything over the years. We've got a lot of timber here. We've got an old window. Lots of old stumps from when they cut trees down. There's actually a really big stump here, which hopefully we can get that moved. Um, lots of old, just split wood, cut wood. A lot of stuff has nails in it, so I really hope I don't have a get a flat tire, because as you can see here, Got a lot of nails and stuff sticking out of this so i'm gonna have to be really careful not to drive over some of these planks um, but basically what we're gonna do is use the grapple first we're gonna grab a hold of everything on the outside like this wood here we're gonna get in here and get to all this wood here and i'm just gonna make a nice neat pile somewhere over here out of the way once i get everything out of the way over here we should only be left with just dirt and topsoil for the most part i'll kind of have to skim through a little bit with the grapple just to make sure we've got everything but once we know we got everything we will use the bucket and kind of bulldoze this and grade this out i'm gonna have to kind of skim it from this way and work my way this way and basically he wants to save any dirt that's usable we're going to make a big pile for him so that he has fill to use for ruts and low spots and whatnot in his yard let's go ahead and hop on a tractor i'll set this bucket to the side and we'll get to work but before we do my father's going to come with his john deere and we're just going to get this window pane out of the way just so we don't break it he's got his pallet forks on his deer so he's going to come on through here i'll load him up here and uh he can get this hauled out of here so we can start this job without having to drive through a bunch of broken glass
All right, guys, we've got the bucket loaded back up in the grapple here. We are all done with this job now. It turned out really nice. My father is really happy about it. Uh, he's been wanting to get this area cleared out for a long time now. As you can see, I've got a nice big dirt pile here that I made for him right in the corner of the property so he can get to it whenever he needs to. Fully exposed where he can mow around this nice and easily now. Um, I graded this out the best I could. This ground is really hard. It's like concrete right now. Um, it's always like that this time of year. And since his topsoil is not really topsoil, it's mostly clay around here. It made this stuff really, really hard to dig, but I leveled it off the best I could. It is actually pretty good, but it's still a little bit high in here. And I kind of left it because I was getting underneath it and finding hunks of metal, big boulders and stuff like that. And I didn't want to keep digging up all that stuff. So he can get his mower up through here now, no problem and get this maintained, keep it maintained. Um, as you can see here, we've got a nice big pile of wood. He's going to start this off and burn all this as soon as he gets a few of these trees cut down. These trees are dead here, these three trees. So he's going to have my brother come up here and he's going to top them and drop these these trees uh, especially these big ones here that way when he drops these trees down they can get all this brush thrown on the pile here have a nice big bonfire and get all this burned up and once this is out of the way he's gonna have a nice big opening behind his fence here he's got plenty of fill to use got all of his wood in one spot where he can burn it uh, one other thing we did is I pulled out three of these concrete blocks so he's gonna just take these to the dump he's got three of them here I put them to the side and then over here at the end I ended up pulling out those six by sixes for him because he did want to save them I threw them on this long pallet he's got over here so he can move them around with his John Deere he says he might end up using these for a flower bed project that he wants to do around here so now he's got them he could use they're still actually nice and straight they're not even warped so um, and they're all pressure treated so still good wood really wasn't too hard to dig out of there with the artillery and grapple I think you can get right in there and pretty much pluck whatever you need to I'm um, really happy with that grapple overall did a fantastic job today did a really awesome job sifting through the topsoil to find all the stumps and rocks and all that kind of stuff. Just overall did a really good job. So I'm going to get this thing loaded up, get it back on the trailer and head home. Next weekend, I might be starting on a pole barn, so I'm not sure if you guys will get a video next weekend or not. Maybe I can get a video done during the weekday after work or something. I do have a project coming up with the stump bucket um, at a guy's house. He needs some stumps pulled out. So hopefully you guys will see the stump bucket again soon. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe as always. We'll see you guys in the next one.